David at BugEyeGuy.com here and I want to take you through this amazing restoration and show you what I'm looking for. I'm looking at uh, things like this beading. Very clean. Now remember in 1960 when this car was built the, the quality control and the, the build quality for an $1800 car wasn't up to modern standards but this one is excellent and uh, in a lot of the restorations you don't see it looking quite as crisp and nice as this one does. We have things like this beautiful pillar. The screws have been painted the right silver. The pillar is just a gorgeous finish. And this is the correct windshield frame with new gasketing and excellent glass. Too often these glasses get scratched, but this one is quite lovely. We have the right windshield washers and the windshield wipers assembly. These are the correct defrosters and the tonneau button. This is the correct mirror. On and on, this car is really quite a lovely restoration. Inside we've got the right switches, all the right gauges. Uh, that's, that's kind of a pet peeve for me, because too often the gauges come, they've just been switched out or they're not working and people drill extra holes. Under here we've got this nice correct lining, a beautiful floor pan, good as new. It even has the correct original drain got this incredible light blue piping. I really like that. We have back here, look at that, that's the original jack. I think it was painted black when it was new, I'm not sure, but he's done a nice red paint job on these. We'll have to check on that, and there's a lug wrench as well, and the original sort of burlap pouch for that. Here's the correct top bow attachment with the rubber bumper. These are nicely painted. You know, he spent a huge amount of time getting this right. You can see also, that's the Hardora mat that would have been just like it was sold new. And then in the trunk, we've got the liner boards back there. Those, those right next to the fuel fill. That's very rare to see, but he's replaced those as well. And then there's a mat as well down under the tire and the correct spare tire hold down. So you can see, any one of these items is rare to find. When you find them all on one car, it's a quite special restoration. We've got nice matching blue paint. This is iris blue all in the wheel well. That's as original. Good. This is a, a weak area on bug eyes. Nice to see that in good shape. All the correct gear here and the right bumpers or bumperettes. Little rubber pad there is also correct between the the black upper mount and the body. This is the right license plate, plinth, and gasket. And of course there were gold, gold sprite emblems is what they were offered with. Although sometimes now you see silver. This side is quite similar. We have excellent gaps along here. Just everywhere you look this is really a very special restored car. Under the hood here on this restored bug eye, it should come as no surprise, it's also equally immaculate and quite well configured to match the original specs. There's an original wiring harness there. That's the way it would attach, and that's where the flasher would live on a new bug eye. And then it runs up to the, to the nose this way, up to the bonnet, to feed the lights. Just perfectly tucked in there with these little clips to hold the harness, and then it runs through these tabs that are spot welded onto the nose and up to the headlight. So really the restorer here spent quite a bit of time making sure everything was run in the right direction. You have the brake lines running along the firewall. That's correct. And then down this this panel here. Same with the temperature. This, this uh, probe in the radiator. That line is run properly. We have this Lucas 12 volt sports coil. Quite a nice touch with the decal and the proper olive uh, green paint on this engine. He's even chosen green ignition wires, which is kind of a nice touch. And it's a 9C engine, 948. There's the correct heater valve. Really lovely restoration on the heater box. There's a battery tray. I don't believe that would be original, that plastic liner. But it's a nice upgrade in terms of some protection for the battery shelf, which often rusts. And moving on to this side, we have the proper washer bottle in the right place, and there, there's the washer hose run up to the pump under the dash. 
These are the proper Coopers air cleaners for the H1 inch and an eighth carburetors. I don't believe it would have had a yellow accelerator cable, but I'll have to look into that. And again, just everything done right, very clean, nice restoration on the wiper motor. That looks beautiful. Slight downgrade for this master cylinder. Not quite as tidy as we might like, but that's not very hard to paint and clean up. The nice thing is, again, the way the new brake and clutch lines run. It's a very simple engine and layout, and you can see that here. There's a fuel filter added on the inside of the fuel pump there, and the proper exhaust pipe running through. These are the correct rubber towers for the bonnet. We have this wonderful hole down here for the for the nose that hooks up into the side of the nose right up here and that believe it or not is to stop the thing from lifting up on the wind and slamming down on you which is a nice safety feature. There's the horn in the right place and there's also an anti-roll bar installed. But just overall a really beautiful restoration done right from bugeyeguy.com.